friend. Gideon. Lil Gideon Gleeful from Gravity Falls. At first glance, Gideon seems comically unthreatening. He's a tacky performer, he's continuously failed to take over the Mystery Shack, and of course... He's so little. As a broad comic character, he combines the stereotypes of a cheesy televangelist with the stereotypes of a whiny, petulant, spoiled child. Of course, a spoiled child can also be a real nightmare. His father just rolls with it, presumably because Gideon's a cash cow. I can buy and sell you, old man! Fair enough. But what did he do to traumatize his poor mother? Just keep back in it. Just keep back him in. Much of Gideon's conflict with Grunkle Stan takes the form of a relatively harmless, petty, childish rivalry. Deal with it. But it doesn't take long for Dipper and Mabel to encounter his darker, more manipulative side. And while he may be a small, non-threatening child, he has access to all sorts of unpredictable magic and a willingness to call upon powers even he knows he should be afraid of. There's no telling what Gideon will unleash, and his rush to deal with the darkest forces imaginable with little hesitation is truly alarming, and it yields some of the scariest threats in a town already loaded with unknowable powers. But that's only scary when you actually know he has powers. Grunkle Stan's ignorance, whether willful or not, to Gideon's evil magic ensures that he sees the kid as no more than a nuisance. Stan's oblivious to the peril he faces, and only sees how ludicrous this kid actually is, keeping the comedy alive at even the most dangerous moment. Come down soon, folks. Gideon is expecting you. 